Okay guys, finally obtained one of these. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this antenna as my AM FM radio antenna. It won't work for the other frequencies, but it will work for that. And just so you know, the correct mounting of this antenna is supposed to be right here. So I finally obtained a mount to mount it right here on top of this ledge. So to go here and then go straight up. Um, I think it'll clear that. I still haven't done all the measurements yet. But yeah, I'm going to use it as an AM FM antenna. Uh, it doesn't work for any of the other frequencies. I put it on the frequency analyzer. It bypasses forest department, which, you know, not a volunteer, don't really care. Uh, but uh, LAPD, all those other ones, uh, doesn't work. So it would work for CB, possibly work better for um, uh, CHP. That's about the closest one. So, yeah, just want to let you know. So these are kind of the pieces I scrapped together. Um, I'm going to need this scoop mounted on this one. Then the antenna mounts on that. So let me assemble it all. I'll show you where it goes. Originally, I had seen these mount on the bed of the truck. You can see that. And then it kind of folds over, and then you got to worry where you're going to run the antenna wires. Just a big pain, so... I did a little more research and found out where it mounts. That's where I want to set it up and mount it right now. Through my stuff, this looks like it was originally military. That's fine thread. Yet the one I had had a parchment for coarse thread. So, yeah, there's a little difference in that, but it doesn't really matter to me. But then the ones going through on this bracket, they look to be. Uh, I'm guessing they're fine thread as well. So the military uses fine thread that allows more torque uh, with less turn, but, you know, it leads to stripping usually. So let me assemble this whole piece. We'll get it on the truck, and I'll show you the whole video over again. Welcome back to the 510. Uh, I guess you can call this upgrades, but uh, trying to get this as military as possible. So problem I have right now is I showed you how to mount my dual band radio antenna right there and that goes to my Motorola CDM I think 1550 which is a UHF radio I also mounted one of those Bayfong the military one well this one actually gives me it's a uh, dual band radio but it also gives me AM FM so what we're gonna do now is I need an AM FM antenna well better AM FM antenna than to put the military nine foot antenna on there. Now you may be saying, oh, well it's crooked and it's hitting that. Remember, most of the time this is not gonna be up that high. I'm already 10.6. With that, I don't fit under anything. So that'll be then wrapped to a bumper and then I'll have a rope that attaches to that so that it, that's not gonna worry about hitting it. It'll bend out of the way. I don't wanna go over my nine foot six. But this is the original military uh, antenna mount for these trucks so these bolts go through and then there's a plate that bolts on the inside and then you see that underneath here there are two more bolts that will be unbuttoned and they fit directly in these two holes so um, you still need to make room for this which is that but it looks like this is the way they did it and then a B and C on the bottom and then I have my 9 foot antenna. Now I'm probably going to paint this black. Because I'm having a hard time matching the blue. Uh, it's supposed to be satin aircraft blue. But I don't think the tint's right. But I'll get some from the other company. We'll go from there. So yeah. Um, just want to show you what was going on. Uh, as for my leg. I have a court date coming up. I don't think he turned in the ticket. So I will ask for... Three times the amount of damages, plus the illegal tow and things like that. But I'll put that on a recording when I go and talk to him because I know you guys are all being screwed by this cop. Um, or wannabe cop. What is his name? Uh, Ken. 
Ken something. Uh, Marcus. Ken Marcus. Which believes he's judge, jury, and executioner. So, yeah. So I got that antenna. There's the AM FM radio. I think that's about it. Uh, I want to get this all mounted. I already tested it. It does work as an AM FM antenna. However, the other stuff is a little bit hard to go by right now. Because that frequency... I don't know how to modify it or take it apart. I ran a couple tests on it and I can't get it to go in the frequency I want. So this is a sugar scoop that everybody talks about. And this mount um, I got from those military guys off another one. Um, you see a couple of these ones that say, oh, just use the ones off the Humvees. Well, the Humvees come with a metal plate and you can't just mount the sugar scoop here. It just doesn't work. You got to bring it out. And I brought another one and it barely fits down here and there. But then I got to worry about running the wire from here back into the cab all the way to the front. It's a pain in the butt. 